This week's lab will be an investigation of collision. Through this lab, you'll better understand the conservation of linear momentum. The collision of the two pendulums will demonstrate experimentally how momentum is transferred from one pendulum to the other, and finally, you'll observe that the total momentum remains constant. But first, let's go over the materials. You'll need a taped meter stick, a smartphone, golf balls, a string, two suction cups with hooks, and hot glue. We also recommend you watch our lab preparation videos on how to prep the meter stick, how to mount your smartphone, and how to use the tracker application on your computer. As always, your first step is preparing your smartphone for video recording and setting up your meter sticks. Now, you want to attach your ball of choice to a string using hot glue or similar adhesive. Then, wrap the string around the suction cup hook that is attached to your table. When mounting the suction cup on the table, ensure the string does not come in contact with the side of the table. This would cause friction, causing error in our results. We'll repeat these steps with a second, identical ball and string. When the balls are at rest, they should just barely be touching, and at the exact same level. Now that we're all set up, we'll actually perform the experiment, making sure to film in your phone's highest available frame rate. To do this, simply raise one ball and release it, allowing it to hit the other one. You can also perform the experiment with two different spherical objects of different weights. The setup preparation is exactly the same as with two identical golf balls. We simply swap out one golf ball for a ping pong ball. In our first scenario, we'll lift the ping pong ball and have it hit the golf ball. In our second scenario, we'll instead lift the golf ball and have it hit the ping pong ball. You'll analyze these scenarios in Tracker, but the process is the same as the collision between two golf balls. Now that we have the video recordings, we can go into Tracker to analyze the data. First things first, let's load in our video file. Find your first frame of interest and your last frame of interest. After that, we'll bring back the marker to the first frame and set up our length scale. The goal is to place the ends of the length scale at the ends of the meter stick, ideally as far apart as you can get them in the frame to reduce error. Shift click on the ends and zoom in to make sure it's where you want it to be before continuing. Now we'll add the point mass, change our template settings, and adjust where Tracker will search for the ball. Try to place the mass near the center of the ball for the most accurate tracking. Click Start and just let the program work its magic. If the program informs you of tracking errors, something has gone wrong in the setup process of the ball, and it'll need to be redone. It's finished, but we still have another ball to track. Move the video slider to the first frame of interest, and make another point mass. Now we'll set up the auto tracker the same way on this second ball, and watch it go. With both point masses tracked, we can analyze the extracted data later. Just make sure to save project as and make sure it's a .trz file. While performing the experiment, keep in mind the likely sources of error in the experiment. Balls mounted too far from one another or not quite level to one another might cause a deviation from the circular movement we want to analyze from the pendulum system. A string contacting the table results in friction, which will cause energy loss from the system in the form of heat, resulting in inaccurate results as energy leaves the system in a way that isn't accounted for. 
the phone mount position must be as straight on as possible due to the phone camera's projection effect. The farther things are away from the center of the frame, the more the distances between them become distorted. For video analysis, try your best to prevent blurriness in the video by increasing the frame rate and resolution of the phone's video recording as much as possible. The more clear the video, the better the analysis the tracker will be able to give us. For the videos we're shooting, around 240 FPS is okay, but a bit lower or higher is fine depending on your phone's capabilities. As for resolution, go as high as your phone will do at its highest frame rate, typically either 720p or 1080p. That's all for now. Good luck on the lab, and don't be afraid to ask for help if you have any questions.